question 16. Maria plans to rent a boat. The boat rental costs $60 per hour. And she will also have to pay for a water safety course that costs $10. Maria wants to spend no more than $280 for the rental and the course. If the boat rental is available only for a whole number of hours, what is the maximum number of hours for which Maria can rent the boat? So, $60 per hour, it's the slope actually. So, if you write it, y is equal to mx plus c. So, you will see that $60 per hour is the slope for x number of hours. And c is the amount you have to pay initially. Okay, so, we will say the total cost is equal to 60 times hours plus ten dollars and according to question this cost should not be more than 280 dollars so 60x plus 10 should not be more than 280 60x plus 10 60x plus 10 should not be more than 280 it should be equal to or less than 280 so what should the number of hours be so subtract 10 from both sides that gives us to 70 and divide by 10 from both sides that will give us 6x less than equal to 27 again divide by 6 on both sides that will give 6x less than equal to 4.7 but you cannot drive for 4.7 hours either you can drive for four, five hours or you can drive for four hours so it should stay less than 4.7 it means you can drive for only four hours this is the number of hours you can drive for. okay so the answer to this question is four so you have to write the answer for the that's your answer question is 70. what value of p is the solution of the equation just need to 2e plus 2 plus 8p minus 8 is equal to 5. So 8p plus 2p is 10p and 10p minus 6 is equal to 5p. So you can just arrange it a bit. 5p will be here, 10p minus 5p and 6 will be there. So 5p is equal to 6 and p is equal to 6 over 5. Or 1.2 either way it's fine okay whether you write 6 over 5 or you write 1.2 it's fine okay you have to fill in the grid so that's your answer 18 over here. so these are two equations the six mark equations above has solution x y what's the value of x simple y is equal to 2x so you can plug in 2x here that will be 1 over 2 2x plus y is 2x. That will be 21 over 2. You just need to solve it. So you can factor out 2. Sorry, this is 2x. I made this mistake. So this should be 2x because y is 2x. And that is equal to 21 over 2. So this is 4x, right? So you can cancel these two out. 2x is equal to 21 over 2 divided by 2 on both sides. That will give us 21 over 4. You can write 21 over 4 or you can write 5.25. The same. So your call. Both answers are valid. 21 over 5 or 5.3. Okay. Next question. 19. This is an equation, uh, an expression. The expression above is equivalent to this, where a is a positive constant. This, and x not equal to negative two. What's the value of a? All right. So let's solve this. 
2x plus 6 over x plus 2 whole square minus 2 divided by x plus 2. So, because this is x plus 2 whole square, we must make it x plus 2 whole square by multiplying x plus 2 in numerator and denominator. Now, this whole thing is equal to this a over x plus 2 whole square. So, the LCM is x plus 2 whole square. And we can write 2x plus 6 minus 2x and minus 4. So, that's a over x plus 2 whole square. So 2x and 2x can cancel. 6 minus 4 is 2. So a is actually 2. If you want to write it again in the next step, fine. But 2 over x plus 2 whole square is equal to a over x plus 2 whole square. So a is in fact 2. So that's your answer. 2 is your answer. Intersecting lines R, S, and T are shown. T was the value of X. Right, we need to find this. So these two angles are flat angles, supplementary angles, 180 degrees sum. So if this is 106, this must be 180 minus 106, that is 74. So this angle here is 74. And this angle X is the sum of these two remote angles, internal remote angles. That's the thing we have studied in angles and triangles. Okay. So this is the sum of 74 degrees and 23 degrees. 74 plus 23 is 97. So this X is 97 degrees. So you don't need to write degree there. You just need to write 97. Okay. That's your answer. That's all.